Hi everyone, welcome to chapel. So um, today I'm just going to read you a quick passage from 1 Timothy 4.12. So it says, Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. So when people first read this, I hear people when they read this say, like, yeah, youth pride, like, I'm glad to be a youth, like, I can still do the things that adults do, and yes, that's what it's saying, but it comes with the responsibility aspect. So Timothy, when he wrote this, he was in his mid, he was in his mid-twenties to early, early thirties, um, so he was on the younger side, but I think lots of people, as I said earlier, lots of people perceive this verse as in, like, oh, uh, this I, I have the same capabilities of my adults. Well, yeah, that's what it's saying, but it's also giving you the responsibility, too. It's saying uh, you should have the same relationship with God that, that your parents do. Not that your relationship or your faith is stronger, just that you should have the same type of relationship that you see teachers and administration here at Western have. Like, I know plenty of the teachers here at Western, and I know they all have a strong relationship with God, um, but that's that's the thing. Like I hear, I hear lots of teenagers say, "Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna like partake in this spiritual stuff or this prayer at home by myself until I get older, because I'm saving it for when I'm actually wiser." Well, waiting and getting older is not what makes you wiser, although it is through the process. Becoming wiser. It's through the process of reading your Bible and, and being, what do you call it, being in God's presence as, you, as in prayer. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to express this verse as in it's not just talking about, it's not just talking about you having the same capabilities as an adult. It's talking about you being able to do what adult Christians do, or sorry, adult crush Christians do, because I don't want to assume that all of you don't actually go into prayer, but just something encouraging to do. If you want the maturity and you want the faith in God that mature Christians have, then don't wait till you grow up for that. Do it right now. God gives us the perfect opportunity right now rather than waiting until you get older. Um, all right, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for this day that you've given to us. I thank you for the teachers, administration, and students all at Western here today. Um, I pray that they would, the students especially, take this message to heart and realize that you want a relationship with them. You want a relationship with them now rather than when they get older, Lord. Tell them that you love them and, uh, I pray that through this time their relationship with you would grow. Um, I thank you for all the wonderful things that you are doing right now. And uh, in your name I pray, amen. All right, guys.